Hello everyone and welcome to our class video about the surface area and volume of a sphere. Our learning goal is that you will be able to calculate the surface area and volume of a sphere. That sounds a bit redundant. So let's talk about how to find the surface area and volume of a sphere. So let's start with surface area. Alright, so we're going to find the surface area of this sphere here which has a diameter of 3 inches. Okay. Let's apply the two different methods that we've used for the other shapes. The first method was to add the areas of the faces. Now, huh? What do we mean by faces when we're talking about a sphere? Because it's not like a sphere has a flat face anywhere. Okay, so, hmm. Well, people have tried to do this with the globe. So, like, you could try to cut the sphere so that you, know, it, you could lay it out on a flat surface. But even then, you'd have to stretch it out some bits. And you want to try to find the area of that funky shape? That's going to be kind of tough. Or some, some other ideas that people have had for, you know, projecting maps, which is just flattening a sphere, really. Yeah, here's this one. But the problem is we stretched it out so much at the poles that Antarctica looks like it's about as big as the whole world, <laughs> the rest of the other continents combined. And that's not going to be accurate. The area is not consistent. Here's some other person's idea. They broke the sphere into a lot of different triangles. Well, that's all well and good, but how do we know how long each triangle is? And... Oh, what about we could cut it into pentagons? But even then, we're not getting a perfectly accurate representation of the sphere because the sphere is completely round, and you can't approximate a ra you, you can't really get a, a round shape out of flat ones. So that method just doesn't work because spheres don't have faces. So we'll have to just resort to a formula. The formula for a surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Notice there's only one surface area formula because a lateral area formula wouldn't make any sense. It would be still the, talking about the same area as the entire surface area. All right, so 4 pi r squared. Okay. Mm it's important to note that this tells us that the surface area of a sphere is four times the area of a circle through its center. Okay, so like, see that pi r squared there? That's the area of the circle that goes through the center of the sphere. The surface area of the sphere is four times the amount of that area, according to the formula. As for where this formula comes from, it actually requires some calculus to you know, figure out where that comes from. So, uh, I'll leave that to your calculus teacher, okay? <laughs> Alright, so... Let's find the surface area of this sphere. The radius is 1.5 inches because the diameter is 3, so I'll plug that in. 4 pi times 1.5 squared. If I want my answer in terms of pi, leaving pi in the answer, I would calculate everything in the formula except the pi. That would give me 9 pi inches squared because 4 times 1.5 squared, if I type it in the calculator, gives me 9. Okay. So, I could also come up with a decimal approximation. So, typing 9 times pi in the calculator would give me 28.27 inches squared. Either one is an acceptable answer. The 9 pi is considered an exact answer because the pi captures all of the decimal places. In fact, pi has an infinite number of decimal places. But so writing it as 9 pi gives us a very exact, precise, accurate answer for the surface area of the sphere. Now, the 28.27 is called an approximate answer because we had to round the decimal after we multiplied. So it's not giving us 100% an accurate answer because we had to round. Okay, so now let's talk about volume. The formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times pi r cubed. That 3 as an exponent is, you read it as cubed. A power of 2 is squared, a power of 3 is cubed. 
This formula also comes from a calculus derivation or from some advanced geometry things that we probably are not going to do in class. So I'll leave it for you to figure out later down the road. Okay, so let's apply this formula. Once again, my radius is 1.5 inches. So to find the volume, I'd have 4 thirds pi times 1.5 inches cubed. If I want my answer in terms of just pi, I would calculate everything in the formula except the pi. Okay, now here's an issue. You gotta know how to type that third power in the calculator. So we use a symbol that looks like an arrow pointing upwards. That's called a caret. It, what it simply means is to the power of. And you can see I indicated where that button is on your calculator. Okay, so when I want to type 1.5 to the third power, I would type it like this, 1.5 in parentheses, then caret 3, so meaning to the power of 3. You can see from my calculator uh, there that the stuff that's 4 thirds times the 1.5 cubed is just 4.5. So my volume would be 4.5 pi, then my units, inches cubed, because the inches in the formula where I plugged it in up here were cubed. Okay, so we have 4.5 pi inches cubed. I could also include pi in the formula, as in the second example there. So that would be 14.14 inches cubed. Okay, and again, either answer is acceptable. Also, make sure you read the problem to understand which one it's asking for. Okay, so that's all there is to it, pretty much, for surface area and volume of a sphere.